Now, I am here with Eon, and we are at the Soho Lear. And if you do not know Eon, Ian is just about to explain to us how come he is here today. In fact, I don't even why he's here today. You've been working with Soho Lear for how long now? Uh, three years. Three years. And I've been seeing you for about two now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, tell us, if, I mean, what made you come into Solo Lift? What made you come over here? So, uh, I was about to go to university for film studies, but my folks live in North London. So, um, it was quite easy to get into Central. So, I emailed the Soho Lift team if they were looking for volunteers. And I was brought in, which was great. And started doing the film with you and worked with them for a few years. And yeah, now I help them as a production assistant and one of Brilliant. And obviously, you're clearly enjoying this work. Yeah, no, no, it's been a great time. Uh, what we've been doing today, we've been doing some spotlight interviews with the selected filmmakers. We've got 54 films this year. Amazing, he's got up to 54 now. Last year, which is great. Um, so yeah, we've had a few filmmakers who were around who were able to come down and we do a bit of a pre-interview uh, before the festival. So no, it's, it's, been, it's been great. It's always good. It's pretty with it. And tell us something as well. I mean, how is it working with your team? Because every time I come here, you know, sometimes the cheese slightly change, but everybody has got such amazing energy. What's that like for you, just meeting up with new people all the time? It's great. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, the founders, so there's there's Liz Farhadi, Vanessa Yuku, and Eric Moore. Mm -hmm. They're sort of the three co-founders, and the festival's been running for around four or five years now. I know, right? Um, and no, it's great. So they're all involved in the arts in their own way. They've all got their own interests, so they bring that every time we meet up. And then we always get new volunteers. We've got quite a few new ones this festival, which is great. And they're all interested in the industry in their own way. So after we do all the interviews, we can always socialize and discuss our own. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And last but not least, you know, where do you see the future taking you in regards to, you know, what you're doing here? Because obviously this is a stepping stone for where you really want to go. So uh, where do you see yourself probably in the next five years? So in the next five years, ideally in a full time decision. Um, but something that I'm able to use my transferable skills from this for, so from it facing stuff, uh, working as a runner and yeah, all of that more fun to come. Absolutely. And you know, what's brilliant about you is that it's always good to start in this position. So you know exactly how to manage, how to deal with people who are going to be in your position at some stage. It's very important. I think generally just to go to festivals because you'll meet, be able to meet other creatives and very likely meet people in a similar position to you and be able to advise you on how best to approach the future. One. Well, you know what? We wish you nothing but the very best for the future and look forward to January 2025. Yeah, so tickets uh, will go on sale soon. It's from the 23rd, 23rd to the 26th of January here at Dean Street. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Bye for now.